G'day guys, Anthony here for another veggie chat, but this time we're talking bugs, so really it's a bug chat. I've got a whole heap of diadegma here. These are beneficial insects that are going to hatch and they're going to fly around to my kale crops and my other brassicas. I've got some cauliflowers down there for the Feed the Need project. They're going to fly down because we've got some diamond back moths, some icky, icky bad bugs coming about. They're going to fly down there and they're going to take care of their larvae. Um, they're, they're pretty much, they're going to get rid of them for us. So they're going to do what insecticides would do for us. There are a lot of growers out there that are on IPM programs. That's what this is. This is IPM. And pretty much what IPM is, is it's a way to move away from those harsh chemicals and let nature take its course. So that's what we're doing right now. So we're encouraging these beneficials to come out and do what heavy chemicals would normally do for us. So we're encouraging them with companion crops. We're giving them places to feed. So we're planting things like oriental mustard to attract bad bugs. So these guys have places to go and feed. Um, we are planting alyssum flowers around the place to encourage them to breed and, and dill and coriander and that type of stuff. They're all great crops that we plant here at Wa our Waterloo Corner Farm to encourage beneficials. So <clears throat> this is not something that the supermarkets push. You don't really hear about IPM because you don't really want to see bugs when you open up a lettuce. Um, but don't be afraid if you do see an insect because that might mean that your grower is actually um, Encouraging bugs to do the trick and using less chemicals. I suggest Googling beneficial insects googling companion crops and just and Google IPM IPM Google that and just learn a bit of information for yourself. So next time you're at your farmers market or whatever and you see a lettuce that might have a bug on there there might be a reason why it might not necessarily be a bad thing so just to sum up guys so we've got our artificial hive here i've got my didegma there's a bit of honey on there which i've also got on my arm i'm really really sticky at the moment probably should have not just spread that everywhere and just put it on here um so hopefully the didegma don't go after me um and they're gonna they're gonna hatch in this artificial hive on this beautiful spring spring day. They're gonna go looking for food. The honey will keep them here as well or will track them over here so they've got another place to feed. Um, that eventually they'll get hungry for something else and that's when they'll go out looking for bad bugs to get rid of for me. So guys, I hope that gave you a little bit of information about IPM and what we do out here and what other growers do. Because I'm look, I'm not the only one. There's heaps and there's a lot of growers that do it way better than me. There's some protective cropping guys that do not spray at all and they rely solely on their bug, their insect population. So thank you guys very much for watching. You have a wonderful day. It is a beautiful spring day here in Adelaide and I will catch you next time.